Well, day number five begins right now. And we're right back where we left off yesterday after a wonderful evening at the Curly, Curly Goose Farms Tenting Hostel. A nice half chicken, half roast chicken dinner with vegetables, strawberry ice cream, cookies, hot chocolate. Are you kidding me? What a great place to spend the night. Camped right by the river, right between the sheep pen and the river. Amazing. But the journey continues. And today, well, the gang of hikers right there, all getting ready. We're going to cross this road right ahead of us here. And we are going to start the journey, or oh, continue the journey north. Tonight, I don't know how far we're going to get. 15, 20 miles, maybe 17 miles, I know there's a shelter. Tomorrow, we will arrive at Delaware Water Gap, and that will end the state of Pennsylvania. So hey, welcome everybody to day 95 of our northbound through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Whew. Okay. <laughs> Once again, in the words of the great PCT, Hiker Marmalade, this trail won't hike itself. Let's go. <coughs> Good morning, America. Take a little look at the power line view. Absolutely awesome. What a perfect, perfect day to be out on the Appalachian Trail. I think it's gonna be warm today because it's already pretty warm and it's just going up and up. However, just take a look at that view. I think it's gonna be about, I think somewhere around 84 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit today. But the thing that really, really gets me giggling, gets me excited, gets me as giddy as a kipper, is the fact that there's no rain in the forecast. Thank God. My shoes, hopefully, unless I come to a swamp or a river crossing, should be dry today. And I'm really delighted about that. The trail. Hike is ahead of me in the distance. Uh, rocky continues, it's been rocky all morning. Just basically what you see right here all morning, nothing over challenging, but enough to reduce your speed by about 50%. Um, and literally beat the living daylight out of your feet that are already, by the way, by this time, when you reach this spot, 20 miles to the end of Pennsylvania, when you reach this spot, your feet are already beaten to rat shit anyhow. They're bruised, they're cut, they're sore, they're raw, they hurt. One little tip is do try to keep your socks and shoes dry. Do try to do that. Secondly, on a night, I use uh, on the sore areas an antiseptic cream, like a polis boron type cream. And I find, and especially the one with the enriched vitamin E, um, it's better. And I find on a morning, that has helped the healing process. Um, and for a little while anyhow, your feet may feel a little less trashed than they actually are. Just a little tip. Okay. Next tip of the day is a simple one. And that is just keep moving forward. Alrighty then. Rocks, rocks, and more rocks. And these ones, these are the easy ones. This is the easy trail. But believe me, these easy ones 
beat your feet to ratchet. They just cut, bruise, gash, twist, scrape, and just work them raw. Mile after mile, day after day, doesn't seem to end. We've got major rock climbs coming ahead, boulder fields coming ahead. The only reprieve, if you want to look at it that way, or the only thing that gives you any feeling of hope is with each step, with each hour, with each day, we push closer to the end of Pennsylvania. Now, I am not kidding myself. I know that the state line doesn't apply to the rocks. I know they continue. In the words of Southbound Ikers, they continue well into New Jersey. What does well mean? I don't know. Does it mean a mile? Does it mean 50 miles? I don't know. But you know what we do know? We are going to find out. We will know very, very soon. Somewhere around, oh, maybe 8.2 miles from here is where my next camp is, is planned to be. There's water at about 5.2 miles from here. Seasonal, I'm told. But apparently there's water at the shelter. <sighs> um, so, since I left the trailhead this morning, Smith Road Gap, there's been no water at all. Okay, just a little bit of what's going on today. Wow, hot, covered in sweat, bugs. Whew. Let's keep moving forward. Day 95, well, you know what, it's going okay. I just topped, had a peanut butter and mini bagel and a couple of cookies. And again, just two or three swigs of electrolyte water because again, there's no water out here. So you have to ration the water, to make it last. Um, it's about seven miles to camp and about four, 4.1 mile to where there is a seasonal water source. So hopefully, hopefully, that's going to have water. We're gonna see. Let's take a look at the trail as we mosey down there. Let's just have a little look, see? Right this minute, take a look here. Ha! Huh. We've got about, I don't know, a couple of hundred feet of no rocks. And that's probably the first couple of hundred feet of no rocks we've had in the last couple of days. Um, while I was taking my break, sometimes, the odd time, sometimes I'll throw out my Tyvek sheet, lay on it and just put my feet up for a few minutes, and I did. And two hikers passed me by. One I don't, well, I've seen, but I don't know his trail name. And the other one uh, was the charming lady, Trillium. Uh, she was ahead of me this morning, but when we crossed a major highway, her and the professor elected just to walk down the road for about a mile into town and to get a sandwich and beverages and so on. And I think it's called the village market, she said. So she's done an extra couple of miles. Plus, plus had lunch at the village market. Um, and she thought that was wonderful. Just to show you, very strong hiker for sure. So is the professor. He was with her. He did the same thing, although he's behind me right now. But anyhow, moving right along. Uh, I think it's about seven miles or so to camp. 
about four miles now to water possibly if not i believe there's supposed to be water at camp i hope so but i just hope so there's hope there's water at the seasonal um at the seasonal spring and then that way it'd make my day that much better but we'll see better get going take a look it's getting hot hot out today mid 80s right now a uh, good thing about being in under the canopy of trees Take a look, see, there's less sunlight, so it's a bit of shade when you get out into the open areas, and you do, and the sun beats on you, well, you can feel that 85 plus degree Fahrenheit day for sure, and it's warming up, it's supposed to push to the 90s, I think, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure, okay, let's just keep heading north, everybody, keep heading north. I am quite a bit surprised on how dry the northern half of Pennsylvania has been. There's been no shortage of rocks and there's been no shortage of rain, but it's still very dry. However, 0.3 of a mile ahead, oh, rocks, take a look. Point three of a mile ahead is a water possibility. It's considered a seasonal spring. So this is still relatively early season, May the 30th. So hopefully, hopefully, and with the rain we'd had over the last couple of days, uh, the heavy thunderstorms and stuff, hopefully that spring is springing. Hopefully there's water there, um, because once again, I am dangerously low on water. Uh, and of course, with these rocks, everything just takes so much longer to accomplish. Each mile is like three, as far as the time is concerned. It just brings you to a screeching halt. Feet are battered and bruised and torn, blisters and ripped apart. <sighs> However, others have been down here before me. So we know from that alone, it's very doable. And we also know the hardest is yet to come. Despite the challenges up to now, the hardest is still to come. That's a little bit scary for me because I've had several days now where I've been taxed, pushed, stretched and bent to the limit. And this not being the worst, or those days not being the worst of it, scares me that I've got Enough left in the basement to complete this task at hand. We'll see. We shall see. Wolf Rocks Bypass, Appalachian Trail Junction, one mile, spring, 250 feet, blue blaze, right there. 250 feet. Let us hopefully, hopefully get water. Uh, because water is what we need. We listen for the sounds of running water, the trickles. Sometimes it's not obvious. I know this is not going to be a raging river. Sometimes it's a little bit of an underground stream that surfaces in an area or has a, some access hold to it for instance so let's just listen and let's hope we find the water and i think i think i'm seeing something but i don't know is it water could be could be well i'm seeing water although you know what yeah 
definitely, definitely, definitely doable water. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to get some of that water. Whew. Yeah. Oh, over here, look. Over here, we've got a nice flow. It's just dead leaves and stuff on the top, but the actual water itself looks great. I am definitely loading up. Stand by. That's good. Oh. <clears throat> the trail for the last mile, <laughs> strangely enough, just that mile section was the best piece of trail we'd had for over a week. It was just flat, ground, trodden, packed earth. Um, just a little rock here and there, and that was it. Take a look at the trail ahead of me. It's also <laughs> excellent trail. 1.2 miles to camp. Uh, I had a big, big, big drink of water. Um, and I've still got some with me from that fill up we did. Uh, at the actual camp itself, they're reporting a functioning, a well function, very well functioning spigot. I guess it's a well spigot. And they said it's running beautifully, cold water crystal clear we'll still filter that um, so we didn't need to pack out water from that water source that spring that we filtered at we just needed to get enough to camel up at that location which means to drink quite a bit of water there and then just take out what we needed uh, for the rest of the hike today but the tra terrain has been beautiful since we left there up to now anyhow flat pretty much flat and um, just a few rocks. So that, when I get to that shelter, that's going to give us, I believe my calculation was correct, a 17.1 mile day. So yet another good day. Tomorrow will also give us somewhere around six and a half miles into um, Delaware Water Gap, which is excellent for a Nero, because... I probably will do my 3.30 alarm on a, on a town day. Maybe not. Maybe four. Depends what time I get to bed. Um, and then we'd be in town for breakfast. So that is always a good thing. Trail behind me. Beautiful. Without my articulating arm for my GoPro, it's, it is extremely difficult to vlog. I mean, it's doable, but just not the same balanced, uh, stable kind of platform that we were using before to mount our camera to. I'd really like to get another one of those if I could. We'll see. And the issue I had with the one we got rid of was an issue I've had with several of them. It's a design floor, I think, but when they're working, they're working well. Okay, you know what? Down to about 1.1 miles to camp. Let's just push that and I'll talk to you when we get to camp, okay? Yeah. Day 95 is done with at 17.1 miles, at least I think that's what it was. You know what, I should check that because I am not 100% sure that that's actually correct. Although I think it is. Let me just check. We'll check it on our trusty Gut Ux or uh, Far Out app. And we're gonna go and see back to where we actually got off trail yesterday. There's Wind Gap. Let's go all the way back. Let's try that. Yeah. 
So 17.2 miles today. Again, tomorrow, tomorrow we'll go into um, Delaware Water Gap. I think it's about six and a half miles. I'll set up my um, alarm for four as normal, I guess. 3.30, maybe four. Oh, feet hurt. Oh. oh. And then it'll be a resupply, shower, laundry, shave. Um, I could need new trekking poles if it's possible. That's pretty much it for tomorrow. That's pretty much it for today, by the way. I am done. The end of day 95 ends right now. Thank you.